Hi guys, John here with another Cody build tutorial. Um, this build is from the One Alliance builds and I've actually installed the um, Wonderbox build. Uh, as you can see it's fairly bright, easy to see navigation and um, it looks pretty good at first. Uh, first impressions are pretty good. Okay so I'm just going to run through it quickly what it's got. As you can see we have a section for here for movies and uh, popular add-ons. As you can see, there's no shortage of them. And uh, I'm not going to go through them all because it just keeps going. There's a lot. A lot of add-ons there. Uh, we'll go across the TV shows. Again. A good selection of add-ons there. And it just keeps going and going and going. They've really added, put a lot into this. Now, as you will notice, there's no menu, uh, no shortcut, which a lot of other builds have above the short uh, TV and movie. Live TV, again, a good selection of live TV add-ons. Now, we've put a lot into this. And then we have bo Box Office, which is, you know, recent uh, release movies. We have a section there for documentaries. Again. A very good selection, all in alphabetical order. And kids section. A, a good selection of add-ons. I did notice Genesis back there, so um, just ignore that one. Now I have new movies, again, a good selection of add-ons. Radio, again, a good selection of working add-ons. Sports. Once again, a whole heap of really good sports add-ons. And then we go to our normal video add-ons. Our apps, such as speed test and so forth, which is very handy. The one, the uh, Wonderbox Wizard, which um, if you want to try a different build. And then we have our system and power favourites and weather. Um, and background to pictures and music. Whoops. Um, as you can see, very good selection. They've put a lot into this build. Uh, the navigation is nice and easy. Uh, it sticks with the uh, tried and tested Kodi formula for the big menu across the bottom or the middle. Um, and it's the navigation is easy to see and easy to use. It, it's not um, not difficult at all. Nice big fonts, uh, bright backgrounds, and the contrast is very good. Uh, it's it's uh, it's just a feature-packed add-on, a build. It's uh, it's got absolutely everything in it. There's no point in me actually showing you an add-on working because they're just the same add-ons you can get. Yeah, you can install yourself. No difference. It's not going to make any difference working on what whatever build. So, you know, it's uh, it's more about the design, what they've actually packed into the, into the build. So you can see it's it's a pretty good build. Um, it's definitely it's definitely worth a look at. Um, it's similar, I'd say, it's similar to the No Limits build, which is my personal favourite. Okay, so well, that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, it's feature packed. It looks like a very good build. It's only a very small file. It's less than 250 meg, which means it's going to be ideal to use on any device. Uh, you can use it on Fire Sticks, uh, one gig TV boxes. Uh, PC, whatever you want, the tablets, go for it. Yeah, it's it's good. It's a nice size build. Okay, so now we, you've seen what it's like. Let's show you how to install it. Okay, so this is how you install the One Alliance build for Cody 17. First of all, we've got to hit the cog icon up the top. Then go down to System Settings, we're enabling third-party add-ons. Then we go down to Add-ons and across to Unknown Sources, check that box and select Yes. Now that's done. Then we need to go back one page and select File Manager. Select Add Source, select None and enter the following URL, which is http colon forward slash forward slash one alliance dot xyz forward slash repo. Pause the video if you need to to get that URL. Once you've entered it, press OK give it a name, I'm just going to call it Repo, or I might call it One Alliance, or Alliance, there we go, 
and select OK. Now um, it's worthwhile mentioning you're probably better off starting to this build on a fresh install Kodi uh, which means just delete whatever you've got, reinstall Kodi from either Kodi or if you're on an Android device from Play Store um, and start from scratch. OK now we need to go back to the home screen and select add-ons got to click this little open box looking icon which is our add-on explorer and then select install from zip then we've got to find the, our file which is at the top which is called alliance then we go down to the one there which is plugin program one alliance wizard zip wait for the file to download OK, now the add-on has finally been downloaded. That took a long time. OK, now we need to go back. OK, now if this little window pops up, it's just if you want any of these add-ons um, enabled, any of these settings enabled, it's up to you. Uh, Tracked is a good one to use. Um, m most of these are, are worthwhile having. It's up to you if you want to and, or not. Um, I'm just going to click continue. and then you should see this little pop up here so as you can see um, you can either select your build or you can go through the program add-ons I'm going to select ignore so I'll show you what we can do through the program add-ons but it, it'll just take you to the same um, it'll take, just take you to the same menu so here we go this is our builds And here we are. So um, it's got a few builds here. So we go into this 1A builds. We need to go down to Krypton. As you can see, there's four different uh, builds there. And um, I might try this uh, Wonderbox TV Krypton build full version. And then we go down to and select fresh install. As you can see, it's only a 200 and something meg file, so it shouldn't take all that long to download. Uh, I'm just going to cut all this boring stuff out, and uh, we'll cut the good stuff at the end. Okay, so as you can see, it's now finished downloading and extracting, and now we want to do a force close. So as you can see, one option there is the force close Cody. So that means if you're on a Android device or a Fire Stick, completely dis disconnect the power, wait a few seconds, plug it back in and start up. If you're on a PC or other device, just click the force close button, it will shut down and then reboot and you're off and running. Alright, now I'll just click force close. And here we are in the new build from Kodi, uh, from One Alliance. As you can see, it's pretty good. Or Alright, um, after you first load up, obviously it's going to go through all the updates and bring everything up to date. Um, just sit back, go put the kettle on, have a cup of coffee, and just let it run, run through its thing while it does it. Okay, well, I hope you found this guide helpful. Give it a go. It looks like it's a good build and up to date. Um, until next time, keep an eye out for new videos. Remember to like and subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching.